Hey guys, Julie here. So I came home from work today and I decided to spend some time gardening. And I don't know if it happens to you. Um, while I'm gardening, I'm always looking for something really pretty to inspire me. And I was walking around the garden and the peonies are blooming right now. And they're absolutely gorgeous. So I got completely distracted. I grabbed my phone and I said, I have to video these beauties and show it to you guys. So let me um, show it to you. So I have these beauties right here. Look at the size of these. Beautiful color, beautiful structure. They are staked. I actually staked them later in the season this spring. Like nothing <laughs> is on time this spring. There's another one right here. This one is rather unusual. It looks like a giant daisy. Also staked. I normally stake really early in the spring, probably by the end of March, beginning of April, when the shoots start to come in and I use peony rings. But if I'm staking later in the season, I'm just using bamboo poles, like you see here. Now, this is my peony bed in the back and they are almost done blooming i do have some that are in their peak like this one absolutely spectacular and there is a beauty bush right in the back that one is just starting to bloom so the composition is just so pretty so these are herbaceous peonies i also have the tree peonies here but they have not bloomed yet. It takes quite a long time for them to bloom. But the herbaceous peonies die back all the way to the ground in the winter and you kind of have to cut back all of their foliage all the way to the ground so there's no disease harboring pathogens over the winter. Uh, but actually, I would say peonies are rather low maintenance perennial and they can live in one place for a very long time like almost 100 years but um, they like a lot of light but I actually found that they will deal with more shade than people think like this place right here this entire bed does not get more than four hours of sun per day and I still have beautiful blooms every year so these guys have been here for about seven years and they were in a different spot before then and there's another misconception that you can't really replant peonies in my experience you can replant them with no problem as long as you do not disturb the root ball too much anyway i just wanted to show you these beauties <laughs> they are absolutely gorgeous so I fertilize them right before they bloom and then I will fertilize them again right after they're done. So they put up a lot of growth and set lots of growth for next year. Anyways, I thought I'd show you these beautiful flowers. I hope you enjoy seeing them as much as I love growing them and I love looking at them. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. By the way, look at check out these two cuties. Aren't they so cute? Psst, Lucha, Mish. Oh, where is the kitty? Aren't they so cute? Anyway, I'll see you next time guys. Bye.